Mid-Hudson Regional Hospital of Westchester Medical Center, Artha Nizza. Oh, all right. Now you've got me speechless. <laughs> so, on behalf of the 1,800 employees that are the heart and soul of this institution, the now 1,200 strong medical staff, 200 volunteers, former auxiliary and board members, nursing school alumni, Sisters of St. Francis, Westchester Medical Center, and everyone else that has been fortunate enough over the last hundred years to be part of this organization, let me be the very first one to say, welcome to the grand opening of Mid-Hudson Regional Hospital of Westchester Medical Center. You, you've seen, I think, from the, the various advertisements, the theme of bridges connect, connecting past to future, north to south. Part of the beauty of the bridge is how seamless the transitions can be. So if you live in the area, if you're from the area, you know as you approach uh, the middle of many of the bridges, you'll move from one county into the next. And if you're not really paying attention, you may know, not know that you're moving from one county to the next. And so it was at 12.01 on Friday. So I honestly don't recall, and there are times in somebody's life where they say, I know exactly where I was, I know exactly what I was doing. Um, I honestly don't recall what I was doing or what unit I was on when I became the last president of St. Francis and the first president of Mid-Hudson Regional. And that's a good thing. And, and I can tell you that the staff that night had as much Franciscan spirit after midnight as they had before. And yet, and yet, you know what? One of the biggest issues, thankfully, you know what one of the biggest issues was from staff in the wee hours of the morning? If George is here, he'll recognize this. Badges! <laughs> Where are our new badges? And, and I say that in a good way because, in fact, people wanted the badge. They wanted to show pride in their new employer, and they wanted to be part of Mid-Hudson Regional. And throughout the night, I kept getting, where's my badge, when am I gonna get it? I want one too. So, so that was a good thing. It is now our sacred duty to make sure that the Franciscan spirit is carefully and seamlessly melded with the technology resources and expertise that can only come from a university hospital. Everything that will come from Westchester Medical Center will make us a force to be reckoned with. So I say, watch out Poughkeepsie, watch out Duchess, watch out Mid-Hudson Valley region. I, I promise to keep it short and sweet. So it is now my singular pleasure to introduce the next speaker. Dr. Sam Simon is a former orthopedic surgeon. Wait a minute, not yet, you gotta hold it. I got a list, and then you could go wild, and then you better get up, too. All right? So Dr. Sam Simon is a former orthopedic surgeon extraordinaire, former chairman of the board of the St. Francis Hospital, current managing and founding partner of Hudson Valley Fresh, and I consider to be my friend, Dr. Sam Simon.
the standing ovation for art was appropriate. For me, I'm not so sure. I gave me an outline of what to say. Sister Rose just says it was. If Sister Rose says, then I better listen. <laughs> At first, I would like to recognize the, there are so many people here, and I was given this list, and I'm going to do it properly. Will the Sisters of St. Francis please stand? One thing is for sure, if it wasn't for the Sisters of St. Francis, a hundred years ago, we would not be here, okay? That's the reality. Will the representatives from the partners in the Franciscan ministry please stand? And if it wasn't for them, I would not be here, I can assure you. With that's an inside joke, okay? <laughs> it wasn't funny initially, believe me. <laughs> and I won't use the language I used at the moment. Because <laughs> I promised Sister Roberta this will be clean all the way through. <laughs> Would the representatives from the Westchester Medical Center please stand? And it can be said that without these first-class people, we would not be here. <laughs> Will the former board members of St. Francis please stand that are present? Let me tell you about these board members. In September, when uh, Art and I got together for the first time, and Art showed me the truth, and then I understood what the representatives from the Partners in Franciscan Ministries was talking about, I had a few choice words, and the last word was, we're bankrupt. We better stop digging. We, we gotta stop digging and do something to correct this. The board, and the, that means the full board and the foundation, met every week, every week from 1st of September right till two weeks ago. I don't know too many volunteering boards that come every week and took this problem very seriously, obviously, never waned a bit. There was never a need to worry about a quorum. And I think they deserve a standing ovation. Thank you, and I would like to recognize the, at the end, but not the very least, our elected officials who are here. I was not given a list. I know Mr. Tancredi, I know Marcus Molinaro, but I don't know who else. Would you please stand and be recognized? <laughs> oh, and the mayor is here, all right, very good. So I'll be brief, because I have to be clean. But I'm going to tell you the truth, because they asked me to brief history of the events of the past year. OK, here it is. <laughs> so I, I'm a farmer. I have a friend on the board who says, yeah, yeah, right. that's a good life. I got 30 heifers. I got to get on that trailer. I just got to get, I know the heifer. I'm going to get the lead heifer get in there, and the rest will go in easy. So Peter Millick said, yeah, right. What are you talking about, cows? I said, that's all I understand. I said, I know who wants to be the stalking horse. I know that. And I want to thank them for being the stalking horse. I really do. I really do. They deserve a round of applause.
Little did they know they made my day. <laughs> yep. After that bid went in, within one hour, the phone was ringing. Why? There was no successor liability, and we had our financing. Thank you, Chad, from Cone Resnick. Everything wrote was smooth after that. And thank you, Westchester Medical Center. First class operation. I said to Mark Toulis, just let them be a mensch. Give a fair bid. The party will be over. They were a mensch. They gave a fair bid. Bondholders couldn't believe it. They were happy. Our creditors are happy. And here we are today. That's what happened in a nutshell. And I think uh, we're blessed that they're such a fine medical institution could realize what a jewel St. Francis is. Yes, our bank account was bankrupt, but the hospital care was not bankrupt. The same compassionate care that was here in the 70s, 80s, and 90s is here today. It's just there was a disconnect. They know how to fix it. They've already been involved in fixing it. They're a first-class operation, and we are blessed. As I told the, our staff in our many, many town hall meetings, if you don't believe in God, you've got to believe in him now. Thank you. I'm just not used to this, you can see that. I better go back to the farm and plant some more corn. <laughs> it's my pleasure to introduce a dear friend I've known for over a decade, who's known me only too well, and I can't tell you how many times I had to apologize to her. Oh, so, but I was, I was good this time. I was a bit of bad, right, 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 right? Okay. Sister Roberta Smith, who will be speaking on behalf of the sisters. Thanks a lot, Sam. Uh, that was a great, clean introduction. <laughs> I'm proud of you. I think your wife is proud of you out there, Gail. <laughs> but anyway, I want to thank all of you, and I'm so thrilled to be here. I'm the General Minister of the Sisters of St. Francis, and also spent many years up here with the sisters, um, learning the ropes of healthcare somewhat. But today, believe it or not, is a great day for all of us especially for the Sisters of St. Francis. Our congregation of sisters was called 100 years ago to the Hudson Valley region to care for the health needs of God's people who lived and worked here. Our health care ministry started modestly enough with one building, a few sisters, physicians, and nurses who responded to this need. Ours has been a legacy of compassionate care and respect for all individuals, no matter their creed, race, or ethnic background. The journey of 100 years, as you can imagine, has seen many changes and advances in the arena of healthcare ministry. The road on this journey has been rough and challenging, as well as joyful and caring. And through the years, the sisters have had the pleasure of working with many talented, professional, and caring persons who have become our dear friends. Hopefully during these hundred years, our sisters have been examples of devotion, kindness, and dedication within the many and varied facets of the healthcare ministry. I believe that we have set a standard of professional intelligent, spiritual, and person-centered care for the entire region. And so this day is all about celebrating a glorious past of 100 years of dedicated service and the sisters' responsibility to pass this torch of service, so to speak, to Westchester Medical Center to carry on in the same spirit of generous service for the next 100 years. It is our legacy of love to this region. And so I say God bless you and thank you. Thanks.
And now it's my pleasure to invite this gang up here, Art, Sam, especially Mike Israel and Mark Tulis, to join me on the stage. And as you can see, guess what this is? <laughs> Do I have to tell you? This is our symbol of St. Francis, the former St. Francis Hospital that we pass on to you. Mike, God bless. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Mike Israel, uh, President and CEO of Westchester Medical Center, and I uh, thank you. Thank you, Herb. <laughs> you want to be a producer? Yes, <laughs> that's all right. No, you could you could keep going. Yeah, keep going. <laughs> Thank you. I really appreciate that. I, I, I honestly can't tell you how pleased and proud and honored I am to be here with all of you today. Uh, and I'm pleased because uh, we have come together in record time to join what I believe is two amazing organizations. I'm really proud of the phenomenal team, commitment, dedication, and really untold hours of hard work that brought together uh, what we saw, as Art described over the weekend, an almost seamless transition for hundreds of patients and clients, thousands of employees and physicians, smoothly, very importantly, safely, and with respect and compassion. I am really honored to be part of this new organization that bridges a rich and revered history of spirit and healing with a new vision for expanded and advanced health care and other fine services for the community. A perfect merger, I believe, of two transitions richly steeped in missions of service to those in need. So here we are today to mark a milestone for me, for all of us, for the people of the Hudson Valley. It's a milestone that marks a new partnership between two really terrific healthcare organizations. It's a milestone retaining nearly 1,800 jobs right here in Poughkeepsie. It's a milestone that enables all of us to celebrate and conti continue the amazing legacy of the Sisters of St. Francis and the wonderful organization that all of you have supported and helped save. It's a milestone that retains choice in healthcare in the region. It's a milestone that keeps local, critical, clinical, and community-based services open and available to those that need them the most. And it's a milestone ushering in more services, more advanced care offerings for the people of the Mid-Hudson region, and those services being closer to their home. We're gratified to have been selected as your partner, and we're enthusiastic about the alliance we forged for the region. And when I say region, I really do mean region. When we were reviewing names that the community and staff submitted for the campus, we felt we needed to make a statement about our new organization. Yes, this will continue as a full-service community hospital. That is what I'm talking about, a commitment to a shared vision for health today and for health care in the future. And it's more important than just a commitment from leadership. Over the past several months, the commitment and determination of your staff, your boards, your volunteers, your donors, and your community leaders, and the community is l at large has sustained this organization through a very difficult and trying time. And you should be proud to know that the commitment is continuing. 
Today, I'm proud to announce the first official donation to the Mid-Hudson Regional Hospital, a $200,000 donation from Herb and Sue Ann Reddell. This donation will enable us now to finish the women's imaging suite in the Reddell Cancer Center and in record time. Thanks to you, Herb, Sue Ann, and the entire Reddell family for your vision. It is invaluable through this process and the uh, contribution that you make today. Thank you so much. Now, I know that this transition has not been without sadness and that the name change uh, from St. Francis and becoming a secular organization is both bitter and sweet. We've been very focused on changing what needed to be changed while keeping the St. Francis legacy intact. Forever present, uh, while keeping the, that legacy intact, excuse me, and forever present on this campus. I hope you all have had an opportunity or will take the opportunity to stop by Mayor Way and see the tribute to the sisters, St. Francis, and your first hundred years that we've installed there. And now, uh, Yeah. And now we have one final permanent step that we want to take to secure this legacy. I'd like to invite Westchester Medical Center Board Chair Mark Toulis, Art, Sam, Sister, and Poughkeepsie Town Supervisor Todd Tancredi to join me on the stage. Art, Sam, would you mind, would you mind going over? With Supervisor Tancredi's help, the process has begun to rename Baker Avenue St. Francis Way. I, I, I would just like to say that this process has been, uh, I, I think, the, the culmination of this process in today's ceremony has been something that is not only good for St. Francis and the community up here, but is, uh, for the nine years that I've been at Westchester Medical Center, probably the best thing that's happened to the Medical Center. When we first sent uh, a group up here to tour the hospital and meet the people, three of uh, the most senior people in the organization, they came back and they raved about this organization, talking about not just what you can you see from afar, the, the facilities, the grounds, the technology, but they raved about the culture. They raved about the people. They said, this is an organization that should continue to exist. And as was said earlier, if you didn't believe in divine intervention before this, uh, I can tell you we thank the Lord for getting us involved because we are so happy. <laughs>